How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to be doing an unboxing of this Jose or Jose. I don't exactly know how to pronounce it. It's a thermal printer that you'd be using for shipping labels for eBay or Amazon or whatever selling platform that you're selling on. This video is sponsored by Jose. They sent me the printer but I told them under the condition that all of my opinions will be my own. I'm not going to hold back if I find something I don't like. I'm going to open it up, show you guys what's inside, do a couple demonstration prints, make sure that it works with Mac, make sure that works with PC, give my thoughts on the printer. But before we do that, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. And let's get into the unboxing. Here is our printer. Bam! So there is our printer box. Beautiful, colored, always nice presentation when you're getting a colored glossy box 180 millimeters per second which is which is actually a little over seven inches and i think rollo claims theirs prints at what six inches per second so this might be a faster printer we might have to run a test on that 203 dpi works with all your shipping platforms just like all the thermal printers do adjustable printing size no ink no toner overheat protection 203 dpi again automatic label identification all that nice stuff let's open this bad boy up Look at that. We are greeted with a nice pack paperwork. We got cleaning wipes, clean your print head. We got a USB driver, that's nice. Some companies are doing this, some are not. This is a really nice touch. It makes it easier to have the driver given to you like this. It's a four gigabyte USB drive, so you can reuse it to store whatever you want afterwards, so that's nice. A nice customer support card, some printing tips on it. And they do have an email support at josieprinter.com. They have a telephone number you can call for live customer support. That's a really nice touch. And they have WhatsApp. Here's our installation guide. We never go over those. And then here is our user manual. I never look at those either. Looks like we got some thermal labels. I would say this is about 20 fan fold labels. Good job. That is a nice touch. Here's our printer. Looks like our power cable is over here. USB cable. The power supply is 24 volts at 2 amps. Looks just like any other power supply. And then here we have the printer. Oh, yeah. The inside of the box is really nice too. Look at that. It's all all colored and glossy and such. More commercial and household thermal printers will be coming out. Please stay tuned. Bioz update. Here is the printer. Look at that. It's actually like a glossy white. Super clean looking. Most printers come in a matte, M-A-T-T-E finish. Like Rolo's like a matte grayish purple. But yeah, this is nice, a glossy white. There's our feed and probably our calibration button. We have a power switch in the back, power in, USB. There's your feed guides. Got a little bit of information here. It's the J500 series and it is indeed made in China, as are most of these sausage style printers. To open this, we're gonna press, I guess, on these and there we go, it unlocks. We got our print head up top platen roller down here and there's our thermal print head we do have a serrated top of the shell so when you rip it makes it a little bit easier to rip the labels we're gonna plug the power supply in turn the printer on and we are getting a nice dance of colored lights all right let's Oh yeah, it's feeding labels as it should. All right, we're gonna back that out. I'm gonna install this on my Mac really quick. It would be really nice if they included a USB-C dongle because there are a lot of computers that use USB-C, like new Mac. Tomorrow. So this is actually the next day. And to be completely honest, I had trouble installing this on my MacBook computer. But let me explain why. Usually I just use a dongle converter, plug it in like this and put it into my computer. But for some reason, my computer wasn't recognizing the printer. So I used another dongle and that didn't work. So I reached out to Josie. Here's all of their customer supports, but I actually reached out to them on Instagram. It's not even on here. And they got back to me within a few hours and they let me know that for whatever reason, converters and dongles sometimes can lose packets. It has something to do with how the information is transferred. And they also let me know that if I buy a native USB-B to USB-C cable, which is this picture of an example one on Amazon, that it would work perfectly fine. So I ordered that cable, but it's not here yet. 
However, dug up another dongle converter from my drawer and for whatever reason, this one worked fine. If you have an older Mac that has a normal USB port, you'll be perfectly fine. But if you do have a newer USB-C Mac, it's very dongle specific, or I would recommend just ordering that cord off of Amazon. It's like eight bucks. But I did get it all sorted using this dongle, and I'll show you an example print right now. Sending signal to the printer. And there we go. Look at that beautiful label. So here we are in Windows. I did not have any issues installing it. I have a regular USB port right there. We're gonna print our sample label. Just like that, a beautiful sample label printed from Windows. So after playing with this for a while and doing some tests and setting it up and everything, let's go over what I like. Comes in a nice box. Comes in a very well thought out colored box. It's a nice touch for the unboxing experience inside and out. A lot of printers will just come in generic brown boxes. So that is a nice touch. Comes with free labels. Not all printers come with free labels. Also a nice touch. For support, they do have email, WhatsApp, and they have a live telephone. So let's call them and see if they actually pick up. Let's see if they pick up. I have one of your printers and I was wondering if you could help me with calibrating the labels. So if you could call me back, that'd be great. Okay, so they didn't pick up, but I left them a message and maybe they'll call back with some customer support. But the fact that they do have a telephone option is nice. I think that's pretty equal to like what Rolo does. They have a telephone option as well. And I did read through this just to see the instructions. They're out of Hong Kong and the printer is made in China. So you would think that there might be some miscommunication with English translation, but actually the English is really, really good in this manual. Good job on Josie because I have used printers where the English is terrible the instructions are terrible and also a really good thing it was nice that they included the drivers on a usb just having every oh, there they are. they're already calling me back wow that was fast hello hello uh how's your label printer um we just got a call from you but the clock disconnected a minute ago oh wow that was fast you guys called me back fast how do i calibrate it for the new labels Oh, okay, uh, so you just need to put the paper in and then the, and then press and hold the feed button on the top for about five seconds and then until you hear one beep, let go, and then the printer will automatically read the label size. Let me do that while, while I got you on the phone. That worked. And oh. then you just need to uh, change the rest on your computer. Gotcha, yeah, I know how to do it on the computer part. Appreciate it so much. Okay. Do you guys always um, answer, is it always a voicemail or do sometimes you pick it up? Uh, I pick it up most of the time, but uh, I think I the call just got disconnected because it rang for like one second, I picked up immediately, oh. and it, it just DC'd once I picked up, I don't know why. Weird. All right, well anyways, appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Bye. Thank you so much. So there you go. I called them. They didn't pick up. I left them. They helped me calibrate my printer. So it says customer service is available on here 10 to 7 Pacific Standard Time. And they got back to me actually really quick. He said he tried to answer my phone call, but he something disconnected. He called me right back because I left a voicemail. That's actually really good customer support. I also really like that they come with this USB for the drivers. It's a four gigabyte USB. So whenever I'm done installing the printer, I can just delete what's on here and use this for storage or whatever you want to use. I could put Bitcoin on it if I really wanted to. My main annoyance is that the dongle issue, it would be nice if they included a cord that was USB-C compatible because the dongles are hit or miss. Like I said, one of mine didn't work, one of mine did work. So your mileage may vary with dongles for USB-C. Kind of annoying if you didn't know that. Frustrating for me, but that's why I'm making this video to help other people out that might have the same problem. Looking at this versus the Rolo, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison. Technically, this claims that it's faster than the Rolo at 170 millimeters per second. This is 150 millimeters per second. I don't think speed is a huge deal when it comes to printing. It's not going to make or break anybody's business an inch slower. So I usually don't even talk about speed, but because Rolo claims to be so fast, we have to talk about it right here. But yeah, looks like it will get the job done for your sausage style thermal printing. The price of this will save you about 50 bucks versus the Rolo. The Rolo comes in at about 180 to $200. And this I've seen 
for between 130 to 150, depending if they're running a sale or not. I will put a link to this in the description for you to check out if you haven't already. Please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.